my job on the power play is probably one of the more, most important jobs because of the fact that I have to get open and uh, I have to get ready to receive the pass. What I'll probably do is uh, move around in the slot and, and make sure that, that my centerman, no matter where he is, can see me. Uh, in, in this instance, Bob is, uh, Bob is behind the net and I have to make sure that I'm staying far enough away from the defenseman so that, that Bobby can get me, get me a pass. In another instance, if, if there's no way that I can get open in front of the net, I'll make sure that if the defenseman is tying me up, as, as long as I have my arms free. Uh, I'm, I'm a kind of player who likes to keep my arms free, and as long as I can move in and stay in front of that defenseman and keep my arms free, well, then I'm satisfied with that. Bobby? In a face-off situation in our end, I'm going to try and draw the puck back into our corner, where defenseman Kevin McCarthy will be the first man to it, he can either move around the board and ice it himself or move it back against the flow to me and I should have ample time to shoot it down the ice. Want to try it? Sure. Keep your eye on Bobby. Honest, folks, I've seen this simple play work in the NHL 50 times this year. Usually the offensive centerman and one winger will chase the puck. Now watch. That open ice. Bobby moves into it. Has all kinds of time to make a play or move the puck out. Try it, it'll work. One of my jobs as a winger on the power play is to get any loose pucks or deflections around the net. One of the key things to do this is movement. For me, to stand in front of the net with a big guy like Larry Robinson is no good because all he does is pick my stick up and I'm not going to get anything. What I have to try to do is move and time the shot coming from the point. So how I do that is I move out here and I stand out here and I wait for the key mo a moment to go skate in front of the net for a rebound or a deflection or anything like that. So what I do is here, is I'm out, I'm out here. When I see he has a, uh, the puck and he's gonna shoot it, what I try to do is I come out here like this, like this, to try to get the shot. If I can't, if he's got on me too much, then I'll deflect it or anything like that. If he shoots it and the rebound comes out, I come in here like this and he, I'm free and I can go like this, then go for the rebound. But for me, to stand here with Larry Robinson is totally useless. One-on-one, -on -one, Mark Messi against Larry Robinson, and the Edmonton Oilers star has a chance. <laughs> what a move! Hey, Pilgrim, tell Larry and Al McNeil a secret. When I'm coming down the board, and I know I'm in a position to get hit, I like to do two things. I like to get rid against the boards. If uh, you're two, three feet away from the boards, if Larry hits me, I'm going to get hit twice, once by him and once by the boards. So I like to position myself right next to the boards. And then the second thing I like to do is drop the puck into my feet and then take some of the blow with my elbow and my stick here, like this, to just to cushion the blow so it hits me here first and then my body. And then I kick the, the puck back up to my stick as we go down the boards. Well, it's a great move, and I've seen him make it work a couple of times this season. Usually, the defenseman gets a good piece of mark, and he loses possession of the puck, but using the arms and shoulders to cushion the blow enables him to keep playing at full speed. If the defenseman's timing is a little off, and Larry is certainly cooperating, then the move often works. Hey, Larry, take it easy. NHL rules say the ring should be 90 feet wide, not 91. No one heads to open ice better than this fine hockey player, the very best. 